Here it is again, another piece of software, another piece of bloatware on your system that they're forcing you to install just so that you can update your driver. Or has AMD actually created something that you as a gamer are going to benefit from? Is the Radeon Adrenaline software actually worth your time as a gamer? Can it supplant the much vaunted MSI Afterburner as the overclocking tool of choice for gamers? In this five minute review, I am going to discuss that very question. I am the Graying Tech, a gaming insider. And if you would like to improve your gaming performance, start now by clicking that subscribe button. Starting off with the pros. It is all encompassing. There's not a feature in Afterburner that I couldn't necessarily find in Adrenaline, save for a couple. And we'll go over those in the cons. The UI itself is not particularly busy. I found that the overall dashboard interface was good. Performance dashboard interface was good. Their overlay was adjustable and provided the right amount of information that I would be looking for in order to modify my game performance. It does have an auto update feature that allows it to automatically download and install the latest version of Radeon Adrenaline so that your drivers are always up to date. This is a big plus considering how frequently new games come out and require just a little driver tuning in order to get really great performance out of the game and the hardware itself. The overlay actually was useful. I was very happy to see a frames per second counter. All of the relevant information that I would be looking for was there as well, from CPU usage and memory usage to GPU and GPU memory usage, power consumption, all of the relevant information. Last Pro, there is a wealth of robust tuning options built directly into the software itself. It has an automatic overclock. It has three pre-built presets certified guaranteed to work from Radeon itself. It allows for on the fly changes so that you can make adjustments and apply them instantaneously to the GPU, just like MSI Afterburner does. You're able to save profiles. You're able to set profiles exactly the way that you want for a global or for a gaming specific profile. Everything that you would want to improve your gaming performance from a GPU standpoint was there, except going into the cons. You are bound by the limitations that AMD is going to put in place on the card itself. You still have performance blocks. You still have clock blocks. Whoa, have to not say that one very fast. You still have mini volt adjustment limitations that are put in place. And the second con that I noticed is unlike GPU Z, where you can get good information, including what is slowing down your GPU performance, that's absent from AMD. Running down through the other cons, it doesn't link up with Ryzen Master. It just has what we call internally at my employer, link and launch, meaning it's a link, you click it and it launches the application. That's not very useful. Rage mode itself should be the default mode. I know zero gamers that want a quiet system and are willing to give up performance in order to achieve that. Rage mode is a great marketing idea, but it should also be the default behavior. There's ads. What? This is a con because it's actually present, but a little bit of kudos to AMD that you can turn them off. AMD, why are you putting a browser inside of a driver application designed to get better performance of a GPU? Not only did you waste development resources doing that, but you're also probably wasting resources validating and checking and making sure that the features are working and that they actually don't crash. Come on guys, it's not that hard to link and launch. You've already proven you can do that with Ryzen Master. So to the heart of the matter, is this a valid replacement for MSI Afterburner? The answer is yes, as a matter of fact. When I compare feature to feature between MSI Afterburner and what AMD Adrenaline here is offering, there's no real reason for me to install Afterburner, except the option to maybe unlock things and get a little bit more voltage and a little bit more current flowing to the GPU itself. Other than that, 
all of the options that most gamers will want is present inside of the software itself. I found it easy to set up. The hotkeys were easily to modify. All of the device information was readily apparent and easy for me to get access to. It's exactly what most gamers are looking for to get just a little bit more performance without a whole lot of fussing with their machine. It's a very well-balanced application and they do provide other things if you are interested in taking advantage of that, such as the streaming capability, which for me personally, I'll just use OBS, but if you are experimenting with streaming, it does seem like it's rather competent in its capabilities. It's pretty rare for me to look at a piece of software and not immediately tear it apart. I'm professionally trained to do so, yay. But as I have looked through both the Ryzen Master and Radeon Adrenaline software, I have to say I'm rather impressed by what AMD is bringing to the market. Now that I have reviewed the softwares themselves, the next video I am going to go over how to use the Ryzen Master application in order to squeeze just a little bit more performance out of your CPU in order to not only get great benchmark scores, but perhaps boost just a little bit more your CPU bound games. And you can check that video out right here.